Hello everybody. How are we all today? I hope we're all good. Right. We're playing Calico again today because it's just like, it's a chill. It's halfway through the week, even though we're in that funny time of the year between festive season and New Year's. <laughs> so like time is totally doesn't make sense at the moment. And um, we're going to be continuing with Calico. Um, if the music's too loud, let me know. Obviously, it's quite hard for me to tell. Because I don't have headphones on. <laughs> ah, right. Apparently, we need to sort out those pesky construction cats, if I remember rightly. Because now we can give them a bagel and hopefully they'll be on their way and they'll let me through to the city. Which should be exciting. Don't know what's in the city, so I don't know why I'm excited. <laughs> why is there floating cats? Why is there why would you not have floating cats? <laughs> Cause this is Calico. Oh, there we are. Right. Hello. Uh, we need to pet. One button. There we go. Nope. Why aren't we petting the raven? Yay. I love the raven when it plays with toys. <laughs> Every day is something new. Hello. Who are you? Who are you? Come here. Come here. It's Chompy! <laughs> Hello Chompy, did you miss me? Yeah, you did, didn't you? Little Chompy. Chompy, where are you going? Chompy! <laughs> Why did you slide over here? Chompy! Chompy! You meant to... Chompy, what are you doing? You're falling through the floor, you silly cat! <laughs> You're stuck in the floor now, aren't you? Chompy, are you okay? Do you need help? Man, <laughs> Chompy, <laughs> it's not having a fit. Right, let's put Chompy down. There you go, Chompy. It is. I I have seen Chompy. Chompy's here. Right. I don't know. Your iPad froze. Oh dear. Um, Calico, can you get off the side, please? Can you... I cook here. Can you get down? Get down. Back on the floor. You silly little cat. Oh, you missed Chompy. Oh, I'll go back upstairs then and we'll say hello to Chompy. Chompy was hanging out upstairs. Chompy got stuck in the floor. I had to pick him up. There's Chompy, look. And there's my raven. For some reason I can't pet the raven. Oh, the raven just did something weird with its head. Why am I a woman? Why are you a woman? <laughs> I normally use female characters when I play computer games. Um... Right, so there's no food in there. We'll we'll do that later. We'll go we'll go check the There's Pudgeons. Hey Pudgeons. Hello. No! Don't let your iPad freeze up. Right, we'll we'll go check on the construction cats if I can get out my get out here, get out here. Get out here. Yeah, I don't like dogs as much. <laughs> cats are better, in my opinion. That's why I've got a giant cat that I ride. I mean, you can have a giant dog in this game to ride if you want to. Oh, there is a run button, isn't there? Oh no, the run button just makes me go slow. 
Right, construction cats. Let's get off. Let's get off Pudgeons. Can meow? Cat bagels at the cafe. One button. Rubbish. There's cat bagels at the cafe. It's no, it's a cafe. People come in every day and they buy my food. So if I lock them out, how would they come in to buy the food? Meow, meow, meow. Oh, look at the construction cats. <laughs> I love this game. It's so silly. Hey, guys. Oh, it's my little band of animals. Hey, how are you all? Are you all good? Right. I'm half tempted to go back to the cafe and just see the construction cats in there. <laughs> How can they buy the food? People are very honest here. They they take what food they want and they leave the money. They're, they're just really nice people. I'm going to go... I just want to see the construction cats at my cafe. I'm sorry. My rabbit creep keeps squeaking. I might have to supersize a rabbit at some point. Oh, you see me now. You see me now, do you, Mr. H? <laughs> yes, I see you. You were just doing emotes before. What do you want me to say to an emote? <laughs> but hello, Debbie. Welcome along. <laughs> I love these guys. These guys are funny. Look at them all going for their bagels. I might have to make more bagels, I think. Right, I'm going to get back to the cafe and make sure I've got enough... It really does sound like a guinea pig, the rabbit. The rabbit definitely makes guinea pig noises. But it definitely looks like a rabbit. Where's Pudgeon's gone? I'm sure Pudgeon's will turn up. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see the high. Hello, Debbie. I'm sorry. You know what I'm like by now. Right, we're going to make some more bagels. No, stop freezing. Do you have a laptop or something you can watch it on? Um... God, we've got loads of food to make today. Right, we're going to make a bagel. What do we need? Flour. No, one button. It's okay. I'm used to ignoring me as you answered. I'm sorry. I feel bad now. Okay, I'm going to make this bagel for you, Debbie Jane. This... Oh, missed. We need an egg. Do we need sugar? No. Calico, get off the suck. Calico. Calico. Bad pussycat. Calico. What are you doing? If you've put the butter on the floor, I'm not going to be... How am I meant to get the butter now, Calico? <laughs> My cat has ruined everything. Ugh. Oh, okay. I can just walk across that. But apparently there's some safety thing here that stops me from falling in the sink. <laughs> um, What else do I need? Yeast. What have you done with the yeast? Here it is. Do you think I'm freezing because Animal Crossing is downloading? It's possible. It depends what it depends on um, what your sort of Wi-Fi is like. Uh, 
flower. <coughs> Don't give me that, Calico. You're being naughty. I know you've glitched yourself into the corner here. <laughs> yes, I am small and strong. For some reason, you turn tiny when you're cooking. <laughs> Yay, bagel. Right, that's the bagel made. Oh. Can I get on the side? No. Yeah, I can pick up Cal Calico. Come over here and go play outside. Um, what do you mean not made? Made fresh. Oh, macaroon. Let's make a macaroon. Flour, sugar and eggs. Much easier. How did you pass the health and safety inspection? I know, right? I didn't have any cats then. <laughs> okay, that's the macaroon done. Uh, Kelly's on the windowsill. She's just eat. I just fed her, so... Right, right, I don't, we'll, we'll go now. I don't know where the construction cats have got to. Oh, they're, like, they're just hanging around outside. Hey, construction cats. <laughs> what are you doing here? Nothing. Meow, meow. Oh, hello, who are you? Do I know you? Lumi. Hello, I hope you're doing well today. Do you need anything? Ah. Are you here for a soak? Only one of my springs is open right now. We're at my cafe, not at your... We're not at your hot springs. Right, Pudgems. Right, we're going back to the city now. There's a bagel for the cat, so that's good enough. <laughs> don't, don't report me to the food inspectors. That's harsh. That's really harsh. The people of this place don't mind that I have cats walking around. That's the appeal of my cafe, apparently, that I've got all manner of animals living there. <laughs> right, this is a new area we've never been to. This game is freaking you out. It's a very strange game. Too late, they'll be around to your cafe next Wednesday. No! Ha, I'll just play it on Tuesday then. <laughs> right, we're going to get off of Pudgeons. If this game's freaking you out, Gemma, watch this. <laughs> I'm just going to run around with Pudgeons above my head. Let's put you down. Actually, where's my rabbit? Where's my other animals gone? I've lost my other animals. Oh, they'll turn up. This game doesn't... It doesn't, though. That's the thing. It's so funny the way it is. I love it. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. Go and turn the switch off, see if it helps. Hello. There seems to be lots of cats living here. Doing moonwalks. There's my rabbit. I'm just going to put my rabbit on my head for a little bit. RSPCA call now. Don't you call the RSPCA on me. <laughs> it's like... My rabbit's happy to live on my head. Oh, I've just made like $600. Hello, who are you? Malcolm. <laughs> Howdy there, I'm Malcolm. I do Malcolm things in a Malcolm way. Do you need anything, Malcolm? 
I could use someone to talk through something with actually. I feel like you would be you would give good advice. <laughs> right, so let's break this down. Malcolm here has something he wants to talk about. Some strange person he's never seen before who has a rabbit on their head. He feels that they're going to give good advice. <laughs> oh, Malcolm, you're so naive. Here's what's up. There's a big dance competition. I hope it poops on you. No, my rabbit doesn't poop. Here's what's up. Like my last rabbit I had was was litter trained. It would always poop in the litter in the litter box. It was great. She got a rabbit on her head. About exactly, Gemma. <laughs> I've got a rabbit on my head. Why would you ask for my opinion? Here's what's up. There's a big dance competition happening in the city next week. I've been seeing posters for it all around town. At first, I was so excited. I love dancing, and this would be the perfect opportunity for me to show that off. But, what's wrong? I'm really nervous. There are going to be a lot of really talented cats competing. <laughs> and cats are super nimble and flexible. The city is teeming over with amazing dancing dancers. What if I just embarrass myself? I'm sure you won't embarrass yourself. What would make you feel more confident? I'm sure you won't embarrass yourself. I don't know. Do you think you could give me some feedback on my dance moves? Of course. Sure. If I'm really doing this, I need to decide which dance I'm going to do ASAP. Yeah, Malcolm doesn't look old. This is true. <laughs> He's still allowed to enter a dance contest. A dancer can't only have one move up his sleeve. I have three options. Okay, let's see the first one. Okay, here it is. Pretty good dance. Pretty happy with it. That's all right. Very cool. But let me see another one. <laughs> okay, let's see the second dance. I don't know. The first one's better. I think the first one looks better. That's rubbish. Very cool. But let's see another one. Hmm. Well, he never said anything about drinking. He's going to a dance, Gemma. I'm thinking dance number one myself. Does anyone else have any opinions? <laughs> I'm definitely thinking dance number one. Let me know if anyone disagrees. Yeah, I think... Yeah, look at dance number one. It's awesome. There's a lot more movement in dance number one. With the dancing, he looks drunk. You can't judge other people by your own standards, Gemma. <laughs> yeah, that one's perfect. Really? Are you sure? I don't look ridiculous. No, you don't. You look cool. No, your moves are amazing. Wow, hearing you say that makes me feel a lot more confident. Okay, so now I know what move I'm going to go in with. That's one step in the right direction. Now I just need to practice endlessly. <laughs> Don't burn yourself out. Ugh. Hello, little pet there. It's a pigeon. Hello, pigeon. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to turn the pigeon upside down. <laughs> Come on, pigeon. Come on. You want to be upside down, don't you? <laughs> right, I'm going to put the pigeon down. Do you go mental when I get the toy out? Yeah, the pigeon goes. Oh, it's not as mental as the raven. It still goes a bit weird. I'm half tempted to swap the raven and the pigeon. Right, what else is there to do in this town? What's this? What's this? Oh, it's a raccoon. Hello. Trixie. Hello, Trixie. 
Pick up Stanford. No, it's Stanford. Pick up Trixie. Right. Oh, I like the raccoon. <laughs> Do you want to play with a toy raccoon? Oh, yeah, raccoon's funny. <laughs> I can put any animal on my head. <laughs> I really can. <laughs> right. Let, let's take... Let's put Rabbit down. Let's put you down. Let's pick the raccoon up. Let's put the raccoon on my head. Because <laughs> that's a new level of crazy. <laughs> no, you can only have one animal stored on your head at a time. And you can have five animals in your that follow you and ten animals living at the cafe. Oh, I can't play on the slide. Oh, stuck. <laughs> There's a park. It's great. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Oh, can I go down the slide? Can I go down? Please let me go down the slide. Whoop. <laughs> can I play on the swings? No. Good evening, Eva. How are you? Right, I don't know why my rabbit's just hanging out over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this off my head now. There you go, Trixie. Go back to the bins. Um, can I just walk off here? Yeah. The town's pretty big. No, I can't go in there. Oh, there's a there's a gaggle of cats over here. Let's let's go see what these are up to. Oh, it's a break dancing cat. <laughs> What's going on? Can I talk to you? No. I see what the little kids are worried about now. That's a pretty pretty talented cat there. Where's Pudgem's gone? Oh, why does it keep freezing on me? I'm so cross. I don't know. Do you have anything else you could watch it on other than the iPad? Like a laptop or a phone or something, maybe? There's so many cats in this place. What was that? I heard someone splash. Right, Pudgems. Come here. Let's go ride Pudgems. Oh, there's someone. It's usually a broadband issue. Yeah. Unfortunately. Hello, what's going on here? Are you my three o'clock meeting? No. How rude of me. I am Safina, CFO of Cat Corp. My assistant told me that the heart of the village cat cafe was reopening under new ownership. I'm so glad we were able to connect. Have you ever thought about opening a franchise of cat cafes, merchandise, children's cartoon? The possibilities are endless. Let's do lunch sometime. Okay. Do you just have your business meeting out on the street? Oh, look, there's a real cat walking around. Who's this? Hey, little guy. Who are you? Oh, Miss Kitty. I had a cat called Miss Kitty. Hello. 
Go live at the cat cafe. Miss Kitty's now living at the cat cafe. Oh, I miss Miss Kitty. Oh, is this like an ultra dangerous Ferris wheel? <laughs> it just doesn't stop. You just have to try and get on at the right time. Do you think I can get in one of these? That was a rubbish jump. Pudgems, you're in the way. Pudgems, you're not riding this. Right, can I get in here? Yes! <laughs> I've made it into the Ferris wheel. Free of charge. The view's good. Oh, it's raining now as well. Great. The lighthouse over there. Hmm. Don't know where to go. I thought something amazing, like, obvious would happen when I got to here, but apparently not. Guess we'd go down to the beach, have a look. Ugh. I'm <laughs> just moving without moving. Oh my god, my character needs a loo look. <laughs> like, I need the toilet, I need the toilet. She keeps bouncing up and down. Right, we're on the beach. Can we go out to sea? <laughs> that was a very late splash noise. <laughs> I was already in the water. Hey, cats. Oh, it's a little doggy. Hello, doggy. Who are you? Ollie. No, you're a, you're not you're a dog. Why did you meow at me? That's better. Woof. So Ollie lives on the beach. Arcade machines. Of course, there's gonna be arcade machines and by the beach. Hello, who are you? Sunny. What's up, friendo? Do you need anything? Think you'll get that flower furniture in time for our date? Oh, I keep forgetting to get the flower furniture. What do you mean, bite her? Oh, can I not play on the arcade machines? Oh. I was hoping I could play on the arcade machines. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and get some flower furniture for you now. Because I've got some money. Right, is there actually nothing really to do in this town? <laughs> it's quite depressing if that's true. There's got to be something. I need to find Pudgeons. Lost my, I've lost my entourage. <sighs> oh well, they'll turn up. Maybe they're like seeking shelter somewhere because it started raining. Go in the gap. What gap? Can't talk to any of these little cats that are walking around. Right, I think the plan is we'll try and get some flower furniture between the houses. I've gone round now. Oh, 
God, the town was boring. I know, right? It was like, oh, there's Pudgeons. Hey, Pudgeons. I don't know where any of my other guys are. Maybe it's like half twelve at night. There's not a lot going on in the town. Where does this go? This is new. Oh, we're up here. Right, let's go to the shop. I think it's over here, the shop. Somewhere over here, anyway. I think that's the shop there, isn't it? There's a green rabbit. Why are there so many rabbits walking around? Hello. Shop. I want some flower. I want a flower furniture. Basic hatchery. Cute wall deco. Table. Rad. Rad. Cute. Spooky bed. Basic bookcase. And a spooky display. There's no flower furniture. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. I don't want to buy that. Oh, here's the gang. Alright, I'm just going to look in the clothes shop, and then we'll go off to the um, lighthouse. A floral deer tail. Tight leggings. Sun hat. Crop sleeve short shirt. A zipped hoodie. I might buy the zipped hoodie and the leggings, because I, I could be getting cold. How do I do this? Nope. Um, character. To top. Where's my hoodie gone? Why is my hoodie not here? Get some black leggings on. Outerwear. Is that where the hoodie is? Yes. That's where the hoodie is. Yeah, we'll do that. Choose the colour of this. No, it's not going to be black. We're going to have this. We might have this red. Fairly bright red, I think. There we go. That's what I'm going with today. Oh, that, that looks much more appropriate for the rain. Hello. Howdy there. Do you need anything? Gosh, you look so cute today. I'm glad you asked, because I actually do need something from you. I've been chatting with Safina over in Cutie City about some new marketing strategies for my clothing shop. Have you met Safina? She's brilliant. She knows everyone and she's always knows the latest trends in fashion too anyway she suggested that i do a photo shoot wearing some of the clothes i sell for an article her friend is writing the article is about 21 fashionable business women of the 21st century i think that's what it what that's i think that was it the point is that i need photos your shop has been looking so adorable that i thought it'd be a perfect backdrop you don't mind do you I can come really early in the morning, so I won't get in the way of any of your customers. Sure, why not? That's great. I've got some new cloud pattern dresses coming in. So as soon as they're here, I'll pop over to take the photos. Oh gosh. And what would be really great if 
is if you could find a cloud themed prop or two that I could use in the photos. I can cover the costs and give you something extra for your help. Okay, you're the best. This is going to blow Safina's mind. Right, so we now need to find some flowery furniture and... What are my quests? Anniversary date. Sunny and Blossom's anniversary is coming up. And they want... Yep. Dance, dance. Um, help Malcolm put out a dance. Oh, I need to talk to Malcolm again? Okay. Right, let's go back and talk to Malcolm on the way to the lighthouse. Let's try not to talk to too many other people because I don't want my to-do list getting too big. Right, I don't know where I'm going, map. Where am I there? Where's the town? Over there. So I'm going totally the wrong direction. That's cool. <laughs> oh, let's go around her flowers. Can I just jump down? <laughs> can I just jump off here? No. Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, hello. Who are you? You've got. You have a very sparkly coat on. I would like a very sparkly coat. Steve. Hey, have you seen a dragon around here? No. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about it. I have the situation completely under control. I do not currently know where that situation is, but I assure you that wherever it is, it's under control. I'm Steve. Well, Steve, can I get in your house? No. So Steve's lost his dragon, has he? Right, let's go find Malcolm again. Although it's probably past his bear time. No, he's, he's still out on the streets at three in the morning. Awesome. Howdy there, I'm Malcolm. I do Malcolm things in a Malcolm way. I wanted to talk to you about something. How did the dance competition go? Hi, guess what? It was amazing. I cannot thank you enough for encouraging me to go. And for helping me pick out my dance moves. You really boosted my confidence. And guess what else? I got second place. I bet he lost to that breakdancing cat. Wow, congrats. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to, to place at all against dancing cats. <laughs> I feel like I can really follow my dreams of being a dancer now. Thanks again. Here, you should take this. It should put a little pep in your step. Maybe I'll see you at the next dance competition. What did I just get? Where's my inventory? It's furniture. What have I got furniture-wise? Big, small portions. Make your smalls big. Okay. I don't know what... Oh, yes. The one thing I hate about this game, I can't take the screenshots. I can dance. I can dance now. Snow day <clears throat> potion. Start or stop snow. Right. That's that done. We've, we've solved Malcolm's pot. No, I didn't mean to pick you up. Go down. I wanted to ride you, Pudgeons. You do have to be in exactly the right place to ride Pudgeons. It's quite annoying. Right. We're going to look at the lighthouse then, I guess. At four o'clock in the morning. My other animals will find a way through. Have we got more construction cats over here? Hello? 
Whoa, whoa there. Sorry, can't let you through. Official orders from the sissy. We got a, ma a mess of poisonous flowers all up and down the Clover Coast. And nobody's going in until we've taken care of corporate retreat. The beach is off limits for safety reasons. Ask around the city to find a solution. Eh, we can't go to the lighthouse because the poisonous flowers. <sighs> At least we've got a focus again. We need to get rid of those flowers. I don't think Malcolm's going to be any help. I think maybe you might be a help. Who are you? Who are you and your little mushroom skirt? Nope, nope. Need to talk to her. Zin. Oh my gosh, hello. I'm so excited to see a new person in town. I heard you were opening up the cafe again and I'm so excited. Please, say something sweet for me. Okay. Who are you? Do I know you? Lee. Hey! Wait a second. You're new. I'm Lee. We should be friends. We're friends now. <laughs> and you cleared the way to Heart Village? Maribel's fashion store is the best. We should hang out there sometime. Okay, Lee. Bye. See how easy it is to make new friends? Right. I'm thinking this lady might know something about doing stuff with poisonous flowers. Because she looks important. Nice to see you today. How's business? Actually, we could use some outside perspective. We were just discussing where we should have our company getaway this year. I've heard the Golden Grove is lovely this time of year, and so much quieter than the city. Um, isn't there a giant monster living in the Golden Grove? <laughs> Business cat. <laughs> Boss cat. Haha, <laughs> do you really believe such a silly rumour? What if we got a cabin in the mountains? We could spend every day at the hot springs. Business cat too. The hot springs with my co-workers. Like taking my tie off in front of you all. No way. I'm too shy for that. What about the witch in woods? They say there's wild catnip growing as far as the eye can see. I'm not going to the witch in woods. I heard there are giant plants there that eat cats. Could we rent a house in Hart Village? It's so quaint and cosy. I heard the cat cafe just reopened. Best cat cafe on the island. Oh no, no. The last time I went to the cat cafe, I made a complete fool of myself. I'll never live those pictures down. <laughs> How about a staycation? We're so often blind blind to the beauty of, and culture all around us. And blind to the beauty and culture we could binge watch on TV. This conversation this conversation is a staycation. If we want to spend a week in the cities city not getting any work done, we'll just keep this conversation going. Clover Coast. Clover Coast? Hmm. It's quite scenic. Beach activities. Taking ties off is optional. Yes, Clover Coast is perfect. But all of Clover Coast is off limits right now. An invasive species of toxic flowers has completely taken it over. Oh my, that's awful. Hmm. I've made my decision. As the largest company in the island, it is our social responsibility to revitalize, to revitalize this public space. You, the one that's not a cat, <laughs> as far as I know. What a great way to address someone. You, the one that's not a cat. I might be a cat. How you don't know what you don't know, you don't know what species I associate with. <laughs> I 
Meow. How would you like to work for us as a temporary consultant? Your goal is to make the beach safe again. I was going to do that anyway. Fantastic. I suggest by start by finding a flower expert. If you need help, you have all of corporate you have all of Cat Corporation's resources at your disposal. Right, we need a flower expert. Luckily, I know where a flower expert is. I might need to go back to my cafe soon though and make some more food. Right, plan. We're going to go back to the cafe. We're going to make some food. We're going to have a sleep. And then we're going to find the, the um, flower expert. That's the plan of action. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Malcolm. You doing Malcolm things? Oh, Pudgems. Pudgems is the best cat. <laughs> I wish I had a Pudgems to ride around town. Right, to the cafe. Sunday morning now. I've forgotten where my cafe is. We're good, we're good. We're going the right way. <laughs> what was the dog doing? What were you doing, mate? You just kind of dropped out of nowhere. Never a word with you. Oh, he's asleep. Hey. Hey, Arctic Fox. Right, let's get some cooking done. Comes our way, rain or shine. Hey, Chompy! Did Miss Kitty come and live here? I need to find Miss Kitty. Because she's new. Is she upstairs? I think she's stuck. Yeah, there's Miss Kitty. Come here, Miss Kitty. Okay, you go down there, little girl. Right, can people keep off the sides while I'm cooking? Um, okay, we need to make some coffee. Right, coffee and milk. Coffee's a nice easy one. Let's play Animal Crossing. Means she's not watching my stream. <laughs> Silly iPad, keep freezing. Right, we've made the coffee. We um, need to make a cupcake. Flour, sugar, butter, eggs. Flour. Sugar, an egg, and the butter. I tell you, this is so much easier when a cat hasn't knocked it all over the place. Nope, missed. And we need to make a donut. 
Oh, there's a lot of, lot of ingredients in a donut. Who would have thought? Sugar. Where's the butter gone? Why is the butter over there? Well, we need the yeast while we're here. Calico, how many times do I have to tell you to keep off the sides while I'm cooking? She's so naughty. Right. An egg. Don't give me that look. You know you're not meant to be up here. And I'm too small to do anything about it. And vanilla. And we've made a cat donut. <laughs> right. Calico. Hey. Hey, get off the side. Get off the side. Get down. Yes. Stay out of the kitchen. Jeez. Right, flower... No, sleep, then a flower expert. I don't need to sleep. <laughs> Sunday. Hey, guys. No, I want you on my head. There we go. Gonna wear the red panda. <sighs> Find a flower expert. That's what we're on a mission for. Looking for the flower expert. I knew where Pudgeons was, I'd be riding him. But I don't know where Pudgeons has gone. Is he following me yet? There he is. Pudgeons! What? Pudgeons! Stop running around in a circle. <laughs> um, yeah, there's. it's not an actual flower shop. There's a couple of people, though, that do stuff with flowers in this, in here. Like th this lady here, I think. Maybe. Talk. Good morning, Starshine. Need anything? Hi there. I'm sorry. I didn't properly welcome you to the neighbourhood before. It's my little tradition around here to give a gift out of my garden to any newcomers. Say, are you experienced with flowers? Um, no, I've not spent I've not spent much time with flowers. That just means you get to experience it all for the first time. I'm super jealous. Here, this is for you. Please put it in your cafe. I hope it helps brighten up your life. Take care now and come back and visit any time. Thank you. Did you put those flowers in? No, I've not put them in the cafe yet. Jeez. What's up, friendo? Do you need anything? Yes, I'll get that flower furniture in my cafe for your date. Oh, right. Let's see what Barlet wants. <laughs> Messaging me while I'm streaming. How dare she? I've got the stream on, but it just keeps stopping and starting. Then sound goes off. Same on phone too. Really cross as it's the cat game. And it won't let me comment either. Ah. Oh dear. Barlet's internet isn't working properly, so she can't watch the game. And she's cross because it's the flower game. The flower game? The cat game. Oh. Right. Are you the flower expert down there in that flower house? Hello? Hey there, flower friend. Do you need anything? Actually, yes, I do need something if you don't mind i was supposed to go and meet zin today do you know zin the mushroom magical girl i have just met her i thought she had a mushroom skirt she's been telling me all about the different kinds of edible mushrooms that grow in the deep woods 
There are over a hundred species. Isn't that amazing? I thought it would be fun to try growing some in my vegetable garden and Zin offered to gather up sport the spores from the woods for me. But now the store gets super busy and my day has been totally spiraling out of control. Do you think you could grab the spores from Zin and tell her I'm sorry I couldn't make it myself? Sure. <laughs> right, Pudgems. See, this is the problem when you speak to the wrong sort of people. You end up getting more and more missions to do. Right, where am I going? Yeah, this is cool. Let's go to Zin first, because we can get that done quite quick. Because we can just jump off the side. We can just jump off the mountain. <laughs> I don't know where to get flower furniture from. That's my problem at the moment, though. Because they asked me for that last week. To get some flower furniture for their date. Hey, Zin. Oh, gosh. Hi. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something. Mushroom spores for Lily. Oh, yes. I have them right here. She asked me to say sorry she couldn't make it herself. I actually thought this might happen. Lily works, works so hard in that flower shop, so I wrote up some instructions for her about what kind of care each of the different spores need. Give her these two, okay? Thank you, Zin. Right, let's go report back to... um. I can't even remember a name. <laughs> That's not good. Right, where was that flower shop? I think that's it there, isn't it? Hey. Hey there, flower friend. Um, I did the thing that you wanted me to do. You got the spores? Awesome. Yep, and Zin sent some instructions about them too. <laughs> wow, Zin is the best. Thanks for helping me out. Here, take these. Is that, is that a flower thing? Oh, I can just put these in. I got flower, yes. Right, to the cat cafe. Then Sunny can have her date with her girlfriend. Just in time for their anniversary. It is this way, isn't it? That's the cat cafe over there. I wonder if my cafe ever gets any bigger. Because I'm rapidly running out of space. Oh, I've got a customer. Hello. Can I sit down with you, please? I'm pressing the sit button. It's not doing anything. There we go. Let's have a little conversation. Just ignore the red panda on my head. <laughs> no, I can't speak while sat down. Nice to see you today. How's business? Do you need anything? Oh, you're here. That's great timing. I had something to give you. I've got some new market data in form in from our cat food groups meetings. We figured out that the cat market, especially business cats, are really fickle. They love to have new combinations of decorations while they're eating, and we think we've figured out the next big trend. Take this list, put them all up. I know it seems a little random, but trust me, 
Once the word gets out, you're going to see the results. At least for a little while. They get bored pretty quick. Pretty quick. Okay, thanks. I'll give it a try. Wonderful. Right, furniture time. Right, let's put a table here. Mm. I'll put that there. Let's put a flower table here. Cute desk. I don't want the cute desk. What mad stuff have we got? Cat tree. A spooky mat. A wall deco. Uh, how do I rotate? That way. Yeah, we'll put that there. I love the way the game struggles whenever you put it's like new in the in the cafe. It's like can't quite cope. There, we've got a couple of flowers now. Awesome. My cafe is getting very big. What does she actually give me anyway? I oh, will worry about it some other time. Oh. Go on then. We'll put you down. We'll take you off my head. Right, let's go tell... Sorry, Pudgeons. I didn't mean to pick you up. I'm sorry. Right, let's go tell Sunny that I've got some flower stuff in the shop. Then hopefully, she'll be like, yay. <laughs> And then hopefully she's the flower expert I need. Because I don't know who else could be the flower expert. Apart from the flower person. Look, there she is. Hey. What's up, friendo? Do you need anything? Ugh, fine, just get off. Get off, Pudgeons. Okay, it's broken. <laughs> it's broken. This happens from time to time in this game. Good afternoon, Sash. I did the thing. I was in the cafe earlier and saw the flowers I gave you. I'm so happy you like them. Stop by any time, okay? Do you need anything? I don't need anything. But what about you? Are you settling in? I love it here. I can't imagine living my life and moving to a whole new island. You're so brave. I'm almost as deeply rooted here as my flowers are. You know, if you ever feel overwhelmed, you can come and spend time in my garden. The flowers are great listeners. Oh, and sometimes Sunny and I host tea parties here with sweets. You can join up next time if you're looking to make some new friends. A tea party sounds amazing. You and Sunny are so cute. Can't I say both? <laughs> tea party. We always used to bring our favourite sweets from the cafe to the tea parties. Actually, that reminds me. Your aunt used to make the most amazing roll cakes. I would buy a whole dozen at a time. When your aunt closed the cafe, she was so kind and gave us the recipe. But we tried to break them ourselves and it did not go well. I thought it would be so easy. Just mix the ingredients together and bam. But... Uh, I guess my gardening skills don't transfer to baking at all. Let's just say we're relieved the cafe is back in business. I could try and make it. Here's the recipe. Let me know the second you bake your first roll cake. I'll come and take taste it. Right, we're getting distracted here, but we're going to go make a um, cake. <laughs> to the cafe. It's baking time. We'll find a flower expert at some point in our lives. <laughs> Maybe. <sighs> I 
wonder where the construction cats went. Because they're not at the cafe anymore. Right, Pudgeons, wait here. Wow, I'm making loads of money. Right, Calico, yes, you do not jump on the side while I'm baking. Uh, roll cake. Right, we need some flour. Can you go to see the flour person's girlfriend about the anniversary? Um, I tried, but it was glitching. Um, I'll need to probably... Uh, quit the game and load it back up again to get it to work. Let's just say that there's a few issues with this game <laughs> from time to time. Oh no, where's the butter going? No, butter! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why is the butter sliding all the way over there? You see, that's one of the issues with the game. <laughs> No, I need to speak to Sunny, the um, other girl, but it never it didn't give me the right options. The game glitches a little bit, this does. Like the butter sliding all the way across the thing. And that cat just suddenly appearing in the middle of nowhere. Is it gonna do it again? Um I don't think I've got any eggs over here. I think all the uh, there are eggs here. Cream and vanilla. Right. Cream. This is the cream. Yep. And vanilla. Oh, look at that cake. Oh, I want that cake. <laughs> what I'm going to do is, though, is I'm going to do this. And then go up to bed, quit the game, load back in, and hopefully everything will be working perfectly. <laughs> Look at the capybara. I love capybara. Right, but what we're going to do now is... We're going to close the game down and then go back into it and hopefully that would have sorted the issue out it sorted out the issue i had last time there was an issue because <laughs> last week we had a mission where we had to go back to find someone and they were on the map but they weren't in the game so i couldn't actually talk to them But that's, that, you know, it's a little independent game. It's probably not been made by many people. <laughs> and a lot of the glitches that are in the game are quite funny. Like the, um, the way the animals, like, freak out on the floor. I find that amusing. <laughs> hey, Kelly Cat. We're playing a game about you. Because you're a Calico Cat. Don't give me that look, you are. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully this will have sorted everything out. But I'm sure they're working on it still. And there'll be patches coming out that will help make the game run better. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Ugh. Hello, who are you? You're the mayor, aren't you? I know who you are. Hey, friendo, how are you doing today? Do you need anything, Kiba? Hey, didn't I hear that it was you who cleared the way to the mountains? Boy, am I glad to have someone like you around town. I was finally able to make it to the hot springs again. Being mayor of the whole village can be a pretty stressful sometimes. And there's nothing like a soak in Luma's on, on zine just to just 
to just make all of those worries melt away. Hello, Haley Bailey. Welcome along. I hope you've been having a great day. I guess I forgot how much I need that once in a while. You should try it too. You've been working so hard and doing such a great job with the cafe. I know, right? <laughs> oh, speaking of the cafe, I know of an animal that would be a perfect addition. Really? I don't like having animals forced on me. Unless it's a capybara, then maybe. There's a red panda who's like, I've got a red panda. He's in my group. He hangs out on the heart village near my house. Whenever I see her, I give her treats and play with her. But recently, I've had so much on my mind that I haven't been giving her the attention she deserves. But now that the cafe is back, do you think you have room for her there? She loves to have, ca loves to have company. So I know she'd fit right in with all your other friends. Of course there's room for her. Red pandas are your favourite animal. I've already found the red panda. Um, if you were here earlier, I was actually wearing it on my head. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Like I said, she comes by my house a lot, so she might start looking over there. I don't need to start looking because she's already... She's here, look. <laughs> look, look, look. What's her name? Look, look. I have her. I have her. She's on my head. Look, she's here. She's here. Hello, friendo. How are you doing? Oh, right. We're going to have to, like, make the red panda go back to the house. Cafe. One button. Go live at the cafe. There. I've done it. I've done the thing. I did the thing. I was in the cafe earlier and I saw patches there. Patches? Oh, I guess I forgot to tell you, but that's what I call the, that red panda I told you about. I was so happy to see her in the cafe. Lily was in there playing with her and she was loving the attention. I know Patches will be happy there. Here, take this and thanks. It's Patches' favourite toy. I won't have much use for it now she's with you. Right. Let's, let's change toy. It's an egg. <laughs> egg plush. Right, Patches. Do you want to play with the egg? Ready? 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 Oh, throw. Go get it. Go get it, Patches. Go get it. I'm sorry I threw that so far. <laughs> Go on, Patches. You can do it. You can do it, Patches. There you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Patches, you need to let go when you've given it back to me. You can't just hold on to it. Patches, Patches. <laughs> if I throw this and you're still attached to it, I'm very sorry. Okay? Okay, we'll throw it this way. <laughs> Ready? Go fetch. Oh, the rabbit's going for it. The rabbit's going for it. The rabbit's lost it. Pudgeons is my favourite. My giant cat. It's like, I like Pudgeons. Thank you. Oh, no. Bunny rabbit, let go. <laughs> Why don't the animals let go? There are so many little glitches in this game, but most of the glitches are just really funny. Right. <laughs> I want to put the toy away. There we go. There we go. Uh, what are we doing? Yes, we need to go see Sunny, don't we? I didn't mean... Sorry, Pudgeons. I didn't mean to pick you up. I don't think animals are supposed to bend that way. <laughs> oh, my favourite one. Where's my raven? I haven't seen the raven for a while. I've got a raven that follows me, and that glitches out so badly. But I don't know where my raven is. Oh, well, I mean, it'll turn up. No, I want to get on you. <laughs> I wanted to ride you. Come on, Pudgeons. There we go. Yeah, the physics is a bit weird in this game. Animals are very, very bendable. Right, we need to go find Sunny. 
and hope that she's happy that I've got flower furniture in my cafe. Who are you? Blossom. Good evening, Starshine. I did the thing. Here's a sample of the sweet rolls that I that are in the cafe now. I'd love to know what you think. Wow, Starshine, you outdid yourself. Oh, this might be even better than your aunt's. Wait, don't tell her I said that, okay? Promise. Oh, I could eat the whole batch of these. You're welcome. <laughs> right, where's Sunny gone? There she is. Has the glitch been... Are you going to be... What's up, friendo? No. Oh, she's still glitching out. Rubbish. <sighs> okay, we still need to find a flower expert. Ah, maybe her dad is the flower expert. That we're looking for. Hey, are you the flower expert that we're looking for? What's the story, Morning Glory? Is that appropriate? Yes, he is the guy we're looking for. Poison beach flowers. Oh my, yes. I encountered that myself recently. Um, no, this is... All, I'm playing this on the Switch. Um, it is available on PC as well. Did you just ignore... It? No, you didn't... I wasn't ignoring you, Debbie Jane. <laughs> it is amazing. I love this game. It, it's like I say, it's a bit buggy and there's a lot of glitches in it, but most of them are quite funny. Um, right. It's not it's not that expensive either, this game. Oh yes, I encountered that myself recently. Clover Coast used to be one of my favourite napping spots. Oh, and to grab a few new flowers when I could. Can you clear the poison flowers? I would love to. But they wouldn't let me in. Said it was too dangerous for the public. I even showed them my badge to prove my flower authority. <laughs> they said my badge was just a flower in my lapel. I said, exactly. He could try appealing to Mayor Kiva though. She doesn't do much ordering people around. But she's technically in charge around here. Right, let's go talk to the mayor. Where, where is she hanging out? Where's Kiva? Um, I need to zoom in. Okay. Oh, she's only just around the corner. That's fine. She's only over here. I think. We won't even ride Pudgeons. I don't know where I'm going. Is it this way? I probably should ride Pudgeons. He's quicker. There she is. There's the mare. With her glowy purple rabbit. Hello, Mayor Kiba. Hey, friendo. How are you doing today? Uh, poison flowers. So beautiful, so dangerous, so like us. I'm sorry, friend, but it's far too risky for you to handle them. Poppy sent me. Gosh. The father of flowers himself? Well, of course I trust Poppy. He's the one that identified the flowers in the first place. Oh, but that would be a huge project. And the island is all out of public funds right now. Maybe we could do a fundraiser, a bake sale, a pet wash. Cat Corporation also sent me. Oh, the Corporation of Cats itself? Well, if they're footing the bill, then what are we waiting for? Go tell Poppy to start right away. Right, let's get my toy. This toy is amazing with the raven. <laughs> I need to pick up raven. Come here, you. Right. Go down there, raven. We're going to get the toy. Ready? Raven? Ready, ready, ready? Go get the toy. Go get the toy. Go on, go on. I love raven with this toy. Come on, it's over here. No, it's over here. It's over here. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Go on, Raven. You can do it, buddy. 
<laughs> you can do it. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> He's got it. He's got it. You're not quite as hectic as last week, are you? But you're still having a bit of fun. <laughs> Right, right. Anyway, let's go tell whatever his name was that he can clean up the flowers for me. Wow, I've got like $2,950. I love how people just go to my cafe, take the food, but yet leave the money even though I'm not there. What's the story? Um, good to go on the flowers. Gosh, that's great news. Why don't you go call in call in a day and get some rest? Call it a day and get some rest. I'll have those poisonous flowers gone before sunrise. That's the trick, you see. The best way to avoid anger in the flowers is to sneak up on them while they're sleeping. No, wrong button. Sorry, Pudgems. <laughs> Sorry, little cat. Right. Let's go back to the cafe. See if we need to bake anything. And then, if not, we'll go to bed. And then we can go to the coast in the morning. <laughs> go to sleep. I like my mission. Go to sleep. <laughs> I can do that. I can do that. Not normally till about six in the morning, but you know, do my best. Hey, Miss. Can you get off the side, please? This is where I do my cooking. Can you get down? Wait, wait, come here. Come here. Come here. Get on the floor. You don't go on the sides while I cook. Oh, I've got to make everything. Great. Right. Donut. Flour. Sugar. Uh, butter. Oh, we need vanilla as well while we're here. Butter. Yeast. An egg. And some oil. What missed are uh, the yeast? Oh, the egg missed as well. Where'd the egg go then? God knows where the egg went. So we'll just find another egg. Luckily, there's a few eggs up here. Yes. And we have a cat donut. <laughs> the patches is sulking because I put him on the floor. He's like, how dare you put me on the floor? Um, flour. Sugar. Some butter. Vanilla. Cream. Oh, I threw the cream totally wrong there. Vanilla's not gone in either. What are you doing running around in circles? No, get off the side. Get off the sides. Pets. <laughs> At least it's not Calico for a change. At least Calico's just gone upstairs for a nap. Can you get off the side, please? Why are you acting so hyper? <laughs> having a, look, look. Can you calm down? Rusty. Calm down, Rusty. Okay? Just calm down. It's all right. It's all right. There you go, Patches. You have a little stroke as well. Right. More cooking. Oh, one button. 
cupcake. Flour, sugar, butter, egg. Flour. Sugar. Some egg. And some butter. Awesome. Right. At least those two have calmed down now. To make some coffee. Everyone wants coffee in the mornings. Coffee's easy to make as well. It's just coffee and milk. Ugh. Jump in there. Oh my god. Jump. One button. Sorry, I didn't mean to pick you up, Rusty. Bagel. Like everything needs flour. <laughs> flour, yeast, butter. Patches, can you get down, please? <laughs> Wait, patches, patches. What are you doing up here? Get down. Get down. Get out the food. <laughs> At least he didn't knock all my ingredients all over the place. Oh, the butter's got a life of its own. No, my butter. My butter. <laughs> I hate this glitch with the butter. It's so annoying. Hey, Rusty. <laughs> right, an egg and salt. Where's the, oh, there's a salt. Oh, Patches is coming back. <laughs> Patches is back. Patches, get off the side. Oh, man. Hey, Chompy. Chompy, what are you doing up... Chompy, what are you doing up there? That was an impressive jump, though, from Chompy. Right, one more thing to make. A macaroon. Flour, eggs, and sugar. No, don't want the apple or tomato, whatever that was. Cool. Macaroon. Oh, come on. Why doesn't that count? There we go. Right, let's go have a nap. Even though it's already the next day. Tell Safana the business cat. Clover Coast is safe. Cool. Right. Hey, Bunny. You, are you stuck, mate? That's all right. Come on, Stamford. I'm going to put you on my head for a bit. Right, to the business cats. Let them know that the coast is safe. Then we've got a new... We can go to the lighthouse after this. There I was, up all night, cooking.
I love how slow you fall. It's just like, ooh, yeah, and slowly. Right, where are the business cats? They're down here, aren't they? Oof. It's the raccoon. Are they here? Here they are. Here are the business cats with their little ties. Hey. Nice to see you today. How's business? Uh, Clover Coast is open. I knew I could count on you. Investing in friendship always pays dividends. Here, your payment for a job well done. Remember to treat yourself. I'm going to swim in the ocean. I don't even care if something icky touches my foot. <laughs> I'm going to roll in the flowers until I smell nice. I'm going to bury myself in the sand. I'm going to binge read some books. I'm going to nap in the sun for a week straight. You've all stopped moving, business cats. Right, let, let's go and have a look there myself. Ugh. It's a new day. Jump over here. Yeah, that's good. Clover Coast, then. So how many more areas are there? Oh, I didn't realise the map moved. Okay, it's a big thing. I think this is the last big area to unlock, actually. Yeah, I'm sorry, bunny. I'll put you back on my head. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh. What's that? That looks like a little doggy thing. Is that a cat? It is a cat. Hello, cat. Vibes. Hey, vibes. It vibes. Hello. Oh dear, excuse me. Do you want to go live at the cafe? Go live at the cafe. Yeah. These flowers look more like fried eggs. There's a horse. Um, Bunny rabbit. I'm going to put you down for a bit because I might have to try and put the horse on my head. Oof. Hello, horse. <laughs> horse, follow me. Horsey. Yeah, you're following me. You're good. I wonder. I wonder. Horsey, come here. No, 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 not, not rabbit. Horsey. There we go. I'll come over here. I'll go to potion. No, where's potions? There they are. I've got a tiny horse. <laughs> I've got a tiny horse on my head. Oh my god, I'm amused so easily, aren't I? <laughs> uh, Stanford, do you know what's going to happen now? Yeah, <laughs> big Stanford. Big St Can I ride you? Can I ride Stanford? No. Oh, the raven didn't get any bigger. That's, did the raven get bigger? Can't tell. I don't think he did. <laughs> oh, I can, oh, I can ride Stamford. I think. I need to ride Stamford. <laughs> it's 
Sorry, Stanford. I'm kind of just throwing you. Right, anyway, all right. Let's let's go to the lighthouse. That's where we were going to go. <sighs> Hello. Who are you? Kia. Kia. Do you ever feel like a lighthouse? No. <laughs> it's no doubt about... It's not about pushing people away or pulling people in. You just have to stand tall, shine bright, and help guide whoever you can, can to safer shores. Also, I like playing with flashlights in the dark. That's always fun. I'm Kia. Kaya. Kia. I'm going to call her Kia. And you must be... You must be the new cat cafe person. Cats like playing with flashlights too. Just saying. How do I reach Golden Grove? Oh, there used to be a bridge from here to Golden Grove, but it got destroyed in a storm. Then it never got repaired because of the poison flower situation. Thanks for helping with that, by the way. There should be another entrance from Hart Village, though. At the bottom of the hill where Autumn lives, there's a big hollow log that will take you right to Golden Grove. Once you're in Golden Grove, you can help me repair the bridge from the other side. Good luck. Right, I guess that's what we're doing. I'm really sorry, horse, but you're going to stay small. Pudge him, sorry. Right, gang. Oh, I'm riding. I'm riding the rabbit. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Lily. Hey there, flower friend. Do you need anything? Um, listen, you might need to come back later. I'm a teeny bit distracted right now because, um, well, I must have used the wrong combination of potions on my flowers just now. Something really weird is going on with some of them. They've all started, you know, don't even worry about it. But I was just about to close, close the shop and run to Orton's place. Can I see what happened? No! Uh, no, trust me, you don't need to see this. And neither does my dad. <laughs> uh, I forgot. I can't leave the shop alone, or Pops might notice. Then he'll get worried that my potions are too dangerous again. Oh dear, do you think you could help me? Of course. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Okay, here's the plan. I'll make sure Pop stays away from the garden. I know, I'll distract him with board games. <laughs> Meanwhile, you run to Autumn's place and ask her for a potion that will, um, make the flowers stop eating each other. <laughs> and then bring it here to me, okay? I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Right, to Autumn's. Oh, what's that? What is that? Come here, you. What are you? Come here, come here, come back, come back. Stop running away from me. Ah! You're quite cool. Ugh. I'm going to pick you up now. <laughs> right. Do you want to live at the cafe? Cool. I'm going to ride the rabbit into war. Right, we need to go to um, Autumn's shop. <sighs> Feels weird not riding Pudgeons. It's like Pudgeons has been my only mount so far in this game. And now I'm on Stamford. Pudgeums, why are you swimming? <laughs> Pudgeums fell in the river and now he's stuck. Oh, hello, Rusty. How did you get up here? It's fine. He'll catch me up. Right. I'm pretty sure Autumn's is this way.
<laughs> the raven got here before me. Right. She's not here. Rubbish. <laughs> Is she in? Can I get in her house? I'm not sure. Yes, I can. Uh, you appear to be floating. Whatever. <laughs> Greetings, traveller. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something. What brings you out here? Actually, I'm here on Lily's behalf. She's had a little accident. She says she needs a potion to make her flowers stop eating each other. Goodness, what on earth did she... Well, you know. Now that, now that you've said that, I can actually see exactly what would have caused that. <laughs> Golly, that was quite the oversight on my part. Okay, let me try and whip up a fix for you. This one will be on the house. Hmm, let's see. You just need a little bit of powdered liverwort, a pinch of ground foxglove. Humdy dum. Ta da! One anti flower cannibalism potion. Okay, run along with this to Lily. <coughs> oh, actually, wait. I just thought of something. It's possible that this one might have the side effects of making the flowers want to eat human food instead of each other. Hmm. Well, it'll be an interesting experiment. You just tell Lily that if her flowers stop growing, she can try feeding them some leftovers or something. See if they like that better than sun and water. Thanks. <laughs> right, I need a mount. Pudgems. Pudgems? What do you... Pudgems. Right, Pudgems doesn't want doesn't want to be a mount. Pudgeon's just enjoying running around like a lunatic. Oh, get on Stanford. <laughs> Why is it so hard to get on animals? Fine. Let's jump off the cliff anyway. Right, we need to find Lily. Where is she? Um, is she down here still? Yes, she is. She's by the lighthouse. Do, 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 do. Should just be able to jump down here, I think. Well, that'd be much more helpful if I had an animal to ride. I could ride you, but you're my tiny horse. <laughs> it's too small to ride now. Right, I think if I just jump off here, we should be good. Yeah. Have I got any animals yet? No, fine. She's still here. Yeah, she is. <sighs> Hello, little doggy. Hello, Patch. Pudgeons, finally. <laughs> I get on the bunny. Man. Right, Lily, I have that potion for you. No, come back. Come back. Hey there, flower friend. I did the thing. Oh, you got the potion from Autumn. Thank goodness. I'll use this right away. Autumn said there might be side effects. <sighs> there all there always are. I'll figure it out. Thanks for the help. Right, what was that they gave me? Royal flower potion. Dye animals purple and give them a crown of lilies. Stamford. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to be purple? I feel like you do. I feel like you want to be purple. 
You're not purple, but you got a crown of lilies. Uh, okay, you're not purple, but you know you can't have everything. Right, so we need to get back to Waterms again. I'm quite disappointed that Stanford didn't get dyed purple. We need to get to Golden Grove. No. Oh, good jump there. Good jump. Who are you? Yeah, you're a little doggy. I remember you. Right, Kia says there should be an entrance to Golden Grove in Hearts. It's right here. It's got a cat stuck in it. I remember this now. Big problem. Talk to Kay about the giant cat butt. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go talk to her about a giant cat butt. There's no, there's a conversation we don't think we're going to have today, isn't it? <laughs> hey, I need to talk to you about a giant cat butt, you know? Can't I just shrink the cat? Hey, giant cat butt problems. Oh, it's so hard to talk to people. Oh, hoy there. Uh, giant cat butt. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Giant cat butt blocking the entrance. Oh. I know that, but that butt is a troublemaker. I don't know where the giant cat came from, but it has been causing mischief everywhere it goes. Luckily, I'm prepared for this situation. Well, I'm not fully prepared, but I have an idea I've been wanting to try. I ordered a special item from a Sells General store a while ago, but the flowers blocked me before I could get it. Be a dear and go pick it up from a cell for me. I have preparations to make. Also, I should probably keep an eye on those business cats. Don't want those goose hurting themselves. Okay, I'll go, I'll go fetch your shopping. Pick up the special item. We're on it. We're on it. Oh, right. I need to get comfy. Whew. Do, 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 do. I don't even know where the business cats have got to. They were like on their way to the Golden Coast, but then they just froze. <laughs> Didn't make it. Come on, giant rabbit. Oh, I've got four and a half grand now. What's the story, Morning Glory? Do you need anything? How nice of you to ask. Have you explored town much yet? I was window shopping earlier today myself at the general store. Even though, as my daughter Lily will tell you, we already have way too much junk around our house. Lily says I'm a hoarder. I like to think I see the good in a lot of different things and make, and it makes it hard to get rid of stuff. Estelle was telling me about a new style of rad furniture. I, being a dad, I'm quite rad myself. So, so it called right out to me. I wanted to get something rad for my own place, but like I said, I really shouldn't be buying new things right now. Oh, seeing as you just moved in, you must be on the lookout for some furniture, huh? You should keep an eye out for this rad style. It really deserves to see the light of day. Okay. That's great. I can't see. I can't wait to see your place, rad you look. I've already got rad stuff in there, haven't I? I did the thing. I did do the thing already. Your cafe is looking good. I saw that rad furniture in there. I'm really touched that someone as stylish as you thought my style advice was worth following. I've been trying to clean up some of the junk around my place. I found a few things I thought you might like. Awesome. What did you give me? Oh, 
Oh, citrus. Uh, ooh, a citrus sofa. That's new. Succulents. A succulent table. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of that at all. Right, to the general store. Darling, so good to see you. A uh, special item for Kia. Kia. Oh, good. This came in special order from off the island. I didn't press anything. Right. While I'm here, let's go check out the shops. Let's see what they have in store today. Croissant recipe. We might as well buy a croissant recipe. Basic chair, cute side of bin, basic, basic, cute, basic cat tree, rad wall deco. Right, any new clothes? Oh, look at it all. Look at all this new stuff. This is getting good. <laughs> right, crop top. Thin cardigan, short sleeve hoodie, overalls, thigh high socks, cuffed jeans, red panda ears, fox's tail. Right, I'm going to buy some overalls. I'm going to buy some thigh high socks. I get some panda ears as well. Oh, one button. the way I have to change stuff all the time. No, I'm not going to put that on. Come back. Yeah, I'm going to change the colour slightly though. It needs to be like a really dark. There we go. Gonna be, that's going to be a black top. There we go. Socks. Nothing for my hands. Got no accessories. Don't know why my hair's reset colour. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Right, back. Save and exit. Seeing as I'm doing all the dirty work, got my overalls on. Right, let's go back to Kia. Kia, Kia. Let's mount Stanford. Come on. Come on, bunny. Who me out? Who me out? <laughs> oh, there's the lighthouse. Are we going to take the stairs? Hell no. Hell no, we're not taking the stairs. Oh, Stanford. I don't know why I got to return to this person with this item because they're only going to send me off to do this thing myself. Hey, Kia. A 
Ahoy there. Here's your giant lens. Yep, giant cats calls for a giant lens. If that mischief maker wants to play, then let's play. Oh, I get it. <laughs> what? I'll put the lens on the lighthouse light. Then you take over the controls. Just point it in the woods and that should get its attention. I've already done it. Right. Let's go Pud Pudgeons. We're going to ride you, mate. I like you. Right, we've sorted out the giant gat cat butt problem. <laughs> oh, at least we can get through the log now. Which is good. Then we can find out if a monster really does live in Golden Grove. Somehow, judging by how this game is, I don't think there is like a monster there. Hey, Rusty. Big jump. You only just made that, Pudgeons. New animal. New animal. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a cat. It's a cat. Hey, cat. Who are you? Electra Von Snugglebutts. Hello, Electra Von Snugglebutts. <laughs> um, can you? Have I got? Can you follow me? Oh, my part is full. Can you go live at the cafe? Go live at the cafe, Electra Von Snugglebutts. I blame you, miniature horse. I blame you. Sorry, Pudgeons. I didn't mean to pick you up. Right. Tell Kia it was a success. Oh, really? We've got to go all the way back there just to tell her we did it. <laughs> Electra Von Snugglebutts. Oh, the bridge has suddenly been fixed as well. That's convenient. <sighs> Who fell in the water? <laughs> I heard someone fall in. All right, back to Kia. Hello. Ahoy there. Um, it worked. Wow, really? I mean, of course it worked. Didn't doubt it for a second. I do wonder where that cat ended up, though. You should probably head to the Golden Grove and see. True, but I now have a laser pointer toy. So, obviously I need to play with this. Go get it, go get it. <laughs> Guys, what are you doing? It's over here. It's over here. Look, look, look. It's here. It's here. Laser pointer. Laser pointer. <laughs> oh, this game is so silly. <laughs> I don't know why I find it so amusing. <laughs> Go get it, guys. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Oh, dear. <laughs> right. Pudgeons. I'm going to ride. No, I don't want to pick Pudgeons up. I want to get on him. There we go. Right. Let's go find where that big cat is. <gasps> oh, dear. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing in my life? 
I'm sitting here playing Animal, not Animal Crossing. That's Yuke. Yuke is playing Animal Crossing. Oh, it's a big fox. Hello, big fox. Can I pick you up, please? Oi, oi, foxy. Fox. Do you have a name? No, you're just fox. Hello, fox. Hello. 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 Right. We need to find the big cat. It's got to be around here somewhere. There's a wild boar. Penny. Hello, Penny. Oh, what? Penny, I don't want you just living in the woods. Penny. Problem is, I'm going to run out of space at my cat cafe. Go live at the cat cafe. Hey, wild boar. You are a wild boar. You are a wild boar. A wild boar. Yeah, you probably don't get that reference. <laughs> oh, there's too many animals that I want. I want all the animals. I want all the animals. It's not fair. I thought that was a weird creature then, but it's a log. Oh, who are you? Who are you that lives in the middle of nowhere? You're like a mouse. Hello, mouse lady. Daisy. Squeak. Oh, sorry, you startled me. I don't get many visitors here in the deep woods, let alone a new person. My name is Daisy. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard so many nice things about the cat cafe, but I've never been there myself. I have nothing against cats, but um, something about them makes me a bit uneasy. Which in woods? Oh no, you can't go there. There's a giant gat cat guarding the entrance. It could gobble you up in one bite. I saw it there sleeping. <laughs> Menacingly. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do to help you. The world is so big, and I am so small. I mean, the cat is so big, <laughs> that is. Rosa is the only one that lives in the witching woods, but there's no way for us to contact her with that cat in the way. Rosa's sister, Autumn, used to live in the witching woods, but she moved to Heart Village. Perhaps she can help you. No, I want to go see the... Wrong button. I want to go see the giant cat. Where's the giant cat? Hey, doggy. Hello, dog dog. Right, the giant cat's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. That is a big puss puss. Pudgeons, wait here just in case it eats me. Hello? 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 Look at you. I've just walked straight into your body. <laughs> Ta da! And I walked into your butt. Yeah, that was childish of me. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> right, let's go find Autumn. Now there's a big cat in the way. No, I didn't want to pick you up. I want to mount someone. There we go. We'll ride a Pudgeons into battle. Right, is this the way to the log? What's that? Oh, it's a deer. 
Oh, hello. Who are you? Gabby, next week is Mr. Bear's birthday. I make birthday presents for every animal in the Golden Grove. Always remember to make animal presents out of edible materials though. Oh wait, you're not an animal are you? Either way, my name is Gabby. It's nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you too, Gabby. Right, where are we? Okay. We're over here, aren't we? Yes. Okay, we are on the right way to the log. That's fine. If we keep going this way, we'll find the log. And then we'll be able to get to Autumn. Here it is. <laughs> I think I might need to do some more cooking. Right, how long are we streaming for? It's 11 o'clock. <sighs> right, plan. We're going to go back to my um, cat cafe. We're going to check to see what food we need to make. And then we'll go to sleep. And that'll be every and that'll be it. But let's see if we can do some cooking without a cat or red panda jumping up on the sides, disrupting things. I failed to use the bridge. <laughs> Hello guys! Oh look, it's Lord Snuggly Bums or whatever its name was. <laughs> I think most of the food looks like it's still there, so that's good. Uh, made fresh. Just got to make a croissant. That's alright. We'll make a croissant. Right, flour. Sugar. An egg in while we're here. Butter. I've knocked the butter and I can't get it. There you go. Butter. Yeast. And salt. <laughs> and there we get a croissant with a little smiley face on. The little touches. The little touches. Cool. We got one of everything in. I don't quite know what this cat's doing over here. Pick up Electra Von Snugglebutts. Hey, Snugglebutts. <laughs> I'm going to wear you on my head for a bit. I've definitely got a lot of cats in here now. <laughs> you know... Oh, it's on the bed with me. Right, save and sleep. Okay, and with that, we're going to end the stream. Oh, the worst bit about this game. Do you want to see it? Capture button. Unable to take a capture. I would love a capture of that. But no, I can't. Rubbish. Okay, so we go, we'll be playing Calico again, probably next Wednesday again. Um, I'm back on Twitch tomorrow, so New Year's Eve. Um, we'll be back. I'm back on 6 p.m. UK time. I believe it's part two of Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. So please pop along and say hello for that one. But until then. Enjoy the rest of your day, afternoon, evening, night, depending where you are in the world. And I will see you all soon. Till next time, catch you later.